Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will see how to configure application control policy in Sophos Central. After configuring the application control policy, we will be seeing how to apply this to the endpoints where you have installed Sophos endpoint agents. Just to have a brief overview about the application control policy, Sophos Enterprise Console enables you to detect and block controlled application. That is legitimate application that are not a security threat, but that you decide are unsuitable for use in your office environment. Such application may include instant messaging clients, voice over internet protocol, VoIP clients, digital imaging software, media players, browser plugins, etc. Let's move to the configuration. The very first step what you are going to do is you will go to endpoint protection from the left pane then to the policies over here. You have a pre-configure template for the base policy for the application control. We will be creating a customized policy as our requirement and that policy we will be assigning to the endpoints. Click on add policy over here from the feature drag down menu you will select the application control over here you have to decide that whether this policy you want to be a user based policy or a device based policy let's move on with the device based policy continue you will give the name for the policy as per your requirement as whatever you wish i will say application control lab policy moving on i will be applying to both of these computers i will just assign it and then i will move to the setting to configure the policy parameters over here you will see that the control application uh, list is being available to you from where you can add or edit the list simply click on this add edit list over here and you will find all the available applications from here you can simply define like which application you want to block on your network so you have multiple applications being grouped as per their working functionalities like if you will see a voice over ip there are so many applications similarly virtualization application whatever you want to block you can simply check this and you can block let's say for example application vulnerabilities I want to block this both applications on my network. I will select this option and then after checking both this application, it means that you will be blocking this particular application. Additionally, you will see that new application added to this category by Sophos. If you check this box, so whenever any new application is being added by Sophos to this category, it will be blocked by default. Guys, just add a note over here that you can use this particular thing over the endpoint, but you have to be a bit cautious when you are configuring this policy over the server. So it's better when you're configuring a policy, application control policy on servers, better to avoid this option. But since we are configuring this policy on endpoint itself, I will check this box. And definitely I will tell you the reason when we will be doing a lab for the servers. Then we have archive tools. So let's say, for example, I want uh, this to be blocked. Like, let's say, for example, Laka zip buffer subsystem. This thing I want to block, whereas I want to allow the WinRAR and with zip. I will keep this, and if uh, I want that the categories which are the application which is being added to this category need to be blocked, I will check this box. So you can see that there are several applications uh, being categorized as per their working functionalities then we have a desktop search tools so guys this is how you can define like whatever things you want to block or you want to allow just for justifying uh, our policy what we are going to do is let's say for example in the digital uh, imaging we have an option like a microsoft snip and sketch then you have an option like paint photos this i am going to block 
then let's find the stripping tool also this is why i am uh, blocking so that i can justify that how the policy works i will block microsoft snip i will block ms snipping tool and what i am going to do is this is what i want to block for now and i will save it to the list thereafter you will find the option detection option you will turn on this option and what it means like detected control application when user access them so what is the action you want to take whenever this particular applications are detected whether you want to allow the detected application or block the detected application we will say that i want to block the detected application the action that need to be taken is block thereafter you will turn on this option it says that detect control application during schedules and on demand scans so for central Additionally, give you option called application control request. Basically, let's say for example, if you want to request to suppose that certain application uh, need to be added into this particular list so that uh, action for allow or block can be taken, you can request to suppose central by clicking over here and following the requirement. And the last option is desktop messaging. Let's say for example, if it uh, the policy is being enforced and the policy takes the action and blocks certain things what message should be notified to the end user let's say for example we will say that we will give a message as administrator has blocked the access and at last what we are going to do is we will go to policy and force and you can see that policies and force and i don't want to disable this policy so i will not touch this if you turn on you will define that when this policy need to be disabled for now i don't want this policy to be disabled i will keep it off and simply i will save this now moving on we will be justifying that what we have done i mean the we have blocked the snipping tool so we will go to one of the machines where we have applied this policy and we will check whether our policy is enforced and working correctly so this is the machine where we have installed sophos endpoint agent and on this particular machine itself we have applied the policy as well let's open the snipping tool and you can see that a uh, message is being pop up over here it is saying that use of application ms snipping tool is being blocked by the administrator i can show you in the event viewer as well going to the event viewer of this particular machine you will see that the use of application ms snipping tool has been blocked by your administrator so guys this is how you will be configuring an application control you can define uh, i mean you can add to the list of the pre uh, template application the application which is being provided by the so for the list of application as per the working functionalities is being grouped so you can choose the application which you want to block which you want to allow on your network additionally you can define like in future if the application is being uh, grouped to that particular category that need to be blocked and so on so guys that's how you will be configuring the application control policy in sophos central that's all about the application control policy if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial